Hey, it's Cooper, Director of Marketing at JP Woman Realty, and I'm coming at you today with another Marketing Minute video. Today we're gonna to be talking specifically about uh, just four super easy social media posts you can do. Um, these are all high performing post types, um, and I'm gonna tell you kind of exactly how to go and find the inspiration for them and crank them out. So, you know, we're in a mental block when it's social media time, you can't come up with a content idea, just refer to this video and crank out one of these types of posts. Um, Easy post number one, this is consistently our agent's top performing type of post. Cool house posts, we provide our agents with one that we ready make every Wednesday, but you can find them for yourself super easily too. Go onto your website and search for some expensive house or you know you can obviously filter based on that or just look in a region where you know there's a high um, density of cool houses. So like along lake shores, you know, we like to look on the North Shore, we like to look at certain areas of Minneapolis St. Paul around Lake Minnetonka. Um, or just in your region, you know, you can look for cool houses that way too. Find something that's exemplary, something that's interesting, something that has images that are gonna draw the user in, you know, to be entertaining. So what you want is five or more images. This is the key. It, we used to think it was four. You want five or more images. And the first few images have to make it so that the person uh, that's scrolling your newsfeed wants to click on them to enlarge them and flip through. So you need to show some pictures in the first three that are kind of wacky or goofy or weird, not boring, um, because that'll make someone expand the image, which counts as an engagement, and then they'll start to filter through the images. Um, so the other tip on that is your your um, caption on that should have a question, generally asking someone's opinion about it, like, would you live here? What do you think the listing price is? Blah, 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 those kind of things. So cool house posts, super easy to do. You should do at least one of those a week. Let me tell you, at least one of those a week. Number two, personal posts are other type of posts that across all of our agents are the best performers. Your audience wants to hear from you and see your real life because they care about you. At least, I, we used, I used to say 20% of your business posts can be personal posts. I now think at least 20% of your business posts should be personal because this content performs so well. So, you know, this is an example from Angie Troxel. Um, that's not their daughter. That's a, a stock image I put in there because I'm, you know, I don't permission to use people's pictures of their kids on the internet. But, you know, literally, this is just a little post. This is seen by like a thousand people. Look at all the likes and comments. And it's literally just like a cute picture of her daughter, of their daughter, you know, like super easy idea. How do you find personal posts? I guarantee you if you have a cell phone, you have pictures in your camera reel that you can use right now for social media content about your personal life. If not, get better at taking pictures and videos of stuff. Just scroll your camera reel. Doesn't have to be from this year. Who knows? Like who's gonna notice if it's a picture from this time last year, you know? Cause you got snow on the ground. If it's indoors, nobody knows the difference if it was three weeks ago or yesterday. Use life events, use stuff about your house, use stuff about your yard, cute kid pictures, cute pet pictures, easy social media posts. Number three, showing highlights. Pretty much any time you're on a showing, you should be able to pull something cool, something weird, something interesting out of that house. Take a picture of it, take a short video, put it on your social media. Um, we have a couple agents that have like a series going where they do this uh, every week uh, and it's some of their best content. So basically every time you go on a showing, you can turn that into content. You gotta be a little careful about how much you show. You don't wanna take pictures of anyone's personal stuff. You know, don't take a video of their whole house. Just take a quick picture of like one thing, you know, cause you don't wanna mess around with their privacy too much. Um, ask a question in those posts. Always ask a question in your post to get some engagement. Uh, simple questions like, what does this remind you of? What do you think about having this in your house? Would you, do you want two dishwashers in your kitchen? Those sorts of things work really well. Here's a great Sarah Barr post. You know, she actually obviously designed this in Canva a little bit. No, it looks like she actually did this on her phone because it looks like she was drawing those words with her hands. Just this or that. You prefer this fireplace or that fireplace? This ceiling or that ceiling? 500 people, 144 engagements, phenomenal. And then the last type of social media post, it's super easy. It's not a type of post, it's just a place to easily get content. Repurposing content from other sources. Follow entertaining things on your social media and reuse their content. They are happy to let you do it. You know, this one is great. Quirky Minnesota Places. Look at how many members Quirky Minnesota Places has. It's insanity. A hundred and thousand some followers. And they're posting on there multiple times a day with goofy stuff in Minnesota. Follow it. 
reuse their stuff. Go, you can go and find your own images of those things online, you know, if, you're, if you don't want to use their images. You know, right click the, those images, save them, take a screenshot of them, edit it down to crop it out. Use that in your own content. So repurposing other people's content. Another super easy way to repurpose content, look at your posts from last year and repost them. People don't recycle their social media content enough, um, but you can be reposting probably 20 to 30% of your top performing content can just be reposted the next year. Nobody's gonna notice that you've already posted it. Uh, so thanks for your time. If you've got other tips and tricks uh, on like just super easy social media posts, uh, you know, I think a lot of real estate agents love that kind of stuff because it's pretty frequent that agents get to a point where they're just like, oh, I know I should post to social media, but what do I post? And then if you can have these strategies, like four easy things like I just share with you, whenever you hit that wall, just go watch the video and do one of those four things and it'll be a high performing post um, to help your business and connect with your audience. Thanks for your time. Bye.